Next question comes from Colin. What are the key differences between Grin and Beam? Grin and Beam. Um, these are not types of smiles, and I'm not going to try and make different smile types because that would be weird and creepy. Um, Grin and Beam are two implementations of the Mimble Wimble protocol. Mimble Wimble is a proposal that was made three years ago for a type of blockchain that uses uh, some very interesting tricks with public key cryptography in order to be able to essentially aggregate and summarize the intermediate states between transactions and massively save space while at the same time massively increase privacy. So Mimblewimble is a, was a proposal for a blockchain that achieves essentially completely anonymous transactions where you can't track the amounts, the senders or the recipients, and at the same time where you don't have to keep any of the intermediate states of the ledger, just an updated summary effectively, which massively decreases the amount of space you need for the blockchain. It's a really interesting trade-off because until now, usually the trade-off works a different way, meaning that Privacy came at the cost of scalability. Many of the previous attempts at high-privacy um, blockchains, such as, for example, uh, zero-knowledge SNARKs, zk SNARKs, um, and other various zero-knowledge proof-based systems, even confidential transactions, which one of the proposals for Bitcoin, um, the transactions themselves are private. But in order to do that, they get very, very big from 200 bytes to 20 kilobytes, so three orders of magnitude bigger transactions, or two orders of magnitude bigger transactions. And this has always been a problem. You know, a lot of cryptographers and computer scientists have found ways to introduce privacy, but the trade-off has always been that it takes an enormous amount of data in order to do the various zero-knowledge proofs, bulletproofs, snarks, etc., that you need. Uh, in fact, the practical private blockchains have all been breakthroughs that reduce the scale impact. So Mimblewimble used a different approach, whereby the blockchain is summarized in such a way that only a final state summary is kept. And, and this is the best explanation I can give. It's a, it's a complicated set of mathematics that I don't understand. I'll be very honest there. Um, but what I can explain to you is that. With Mimblewimble, you can discard some of the intermediate states, massively compressing the blockchain, which is the first time we have a situation where privacy and scale are both optimized at the same time. Mimblewimble was introduced three years ago by, um, um, by an anonymous contributor, and uh, immediately an effort was made to implement this. The first effort, which started two years ago, um, is a project called Grin. Uh, Grin was started as an open source community project, uh, primarily research focused, to bring Mimblewimble to life and create an implementation of Mimblewimble. Um, Grin is open source. It's crowdfunded. It has no pre mine and no ICO, no. Um, financial model uh, to support it, other than dedicated volunteers within the community who are doing the development. Beam was started a year later and started with a slightly different model, where uh, Beam has a foundation similar to how Zcash does, and it also has um, a payout, as far as I understand, to the foundation, or has received uh, venture capital and investment funds into the foundation. So it's organized around uh, an, an organization that funds development of Beam. So two different approaches to this. One is a very grassroots uh, community development model, mostly research focused. The other one is is more commercially oriented and uh, intended to bring this um, as a, as a viable commercial product. Grin has been developed with mostly just a command line interface. It's not that easy to use. Beam has a full graphical user interface and mobile wallet that makes it easier uh, to use. They also have a very interesting difference in their monetary model 
whereby, um, as far as I understand it, Grin issues one new coin every few seconds, and that may decrease in the future, um, but it has a continuous issuance model. Whereas Beam has a monetary policy that is more similar to Bitcoin, where there is a fixed final supply, and at some point issuance stops completely. Um, and the way this is mostly advertised is, uh, or or at least described by by those who are developing this, is Grin is more intended to be for medium of exchange payments, and Beam is more intended to be for store of value. Uh, how these play out, I'm not going to say which one is better or worse, because a lot of these um, projects are now very complementary. So Grin and Beam are uh, both now open source. Beam was not at first, but they're now both open source. And they're exchanging code, learning from each other, and in many cases collaborating. So they're both advancing the state of the art in this particular area. Um, they both implement the Mimblewimble underlying model. Um, with just really minor differences between them. Uh, and so if you're interested in that, you can explore both of those. Uh, you'll find it easier probably to use a graphical user interface. Uh, whereas with Grin, uh, if you're more familiar with the command line and um, uh, perhaps uh, the uh, programming language is done in, then you might find that more convenient. Now, one of them is done in Rust, and the other one is done in C++. I believe Grin is in Rust, and Beam is in C++. So different approaches and development as well.